So school is starting next week and in this video I'm going to be showing you everything I'm doing to prepare for back to school. That is a little what's in my bag this year. I have been so busy this summer. I feel like the summer just hasn't ended. I just got back from France after going there straight after Reading which is like a festival. If you can't tell I've got festival Aww. flu a bit. It's sort of almost gone now but I am so behind in preparing for back to school than I am normally on any other year and I'm going to be trying to get everything sorted in the next 24 hours and take you guys along with me. Sometimes when I watch these videos, a lot of people would like a, a glow up to get ready for back to school. But I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I don't need to do one of those. Also, my recent video, I did how to glow up. So if you wanna watch that, I'll put it on the screen and link in the description. But today, I'm basically just gonna be organizing my life, sorting myself out, getting everything I need and ready for college. So I'm gonna start this video with something I did just before I left for Reading, which was declutter my wardrobe. This was so long overdue. I had so many clothes in my wardrobe that I just didn't wear. Almost everything I got rid of apart from things I really just didn't like. I put on Vinted, I'll put my Vinted on the screen. My friend is helping me sell these because I'm absolutely awful at selling stuff. But getting rid of clothes and making space in my wardrobe for the new year, especially because I'm wearing my own clothes to school starting this year, was very essential. All the clothes I'm thinking of selling, I'm just gonna chuck in there for now and then I will sort them out properly later. Don't trip, try to thank Coda for the hit. Bobby turn a hobby to legit. Now we body every bit. Sell a bushy bitch talking that boo shit, boo shit, boo So why don't this looks awful, but I've already filled this fat box with clothes I want to sell, and I feel like I still have so much more. I'm just gonna keep persevering and get through it. I've just cleared out a bunch of stuff that I wasn't using. I'm gonna start selling my stuff on Vinted. I've chucked some hoodies down there, hung up everything that needed hanging. This was the main wardrobe that needed sorted out because I chucked away so many jeans and then I sorted out these little drawers. A couple days ago, I also did a bit of back to school shopping. Okay, you guys are gonna call me so dramatic, but that day I just got my eyelash extensions done for the first time and I absolutely hated them. So I was literally crying the whole of this morning whilst I was trying to get stuff for school. I just feel like they don't look good and they don't suit me. But I did manage to get a few things that I needed. Like, this is not what I'm going for this year. Like, that's just not what I'm going for. So, a quick little haul of stuff I bought. I can't lie, I feel like I have a lot of the essentials that I needed. And I'm going to try and make a lot of my notes on my iPad this year. But just a few little things. I got myself a day folder because I have three main fat folders that I'll be putting my work in. But just to take to school every day, I have this little one from... Puka. I also got myself some new folder dividers. These are pastel as well, so they're quite pretty. Like wallets, like pockets, that if I get notes in class, I can just put them in there and then they won't be creased. This I am so excited for and I will be putting my bag later in this video, but I got myself a bag organizer for my long shot bag because I feel like that would be so, so helpful. I also just got a fat wad of like lined paper, just like a refill pad. I also got some sticky notes. These are an essential. And then I got sent this academic planner, which I am so excited to start using. I, I am such a sucker for a planner like i love a planner and it's so cute it's from pumpkin productivity the girl who actually created this is part of my management i will leave the link in the description for this planner it's honestly it's so cute i wanted to give my long shot bag a deep like wash because i use my long shot bag for everything like it is now extremely dirty so i'm gonna go give that a good old wash I've just woken up from the most beautiful nap but it is time for my favorite part of this video and my favorite part of preparing for back to school but it's a what's in my bag it's low key embarrassing but I love seeing what people put in their bag for school I don't know why and all these little TikToks of like a what I keep in my bag so I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm gonna be putting in my bag for this school year I opened up my bag organizer and it was not the right size for my bag so I have sent that back to Amazon but I have this little like emergency kit this is beaten up but this has been my emergency kit bag for the last five years. So inside here, I'm gonna keep some pads, a couple tampons, a little hand sanitizer, some paracetamol and also peppermint tablets because I have the worst stomach issues. So in case I get a stomach ache midway through school, I put in a couple hairbands. I normally keep one on my wrist anyway, but just in case. I literally went and bought this Carmex today, even though I have 
probably about 20 other lip balms but this one was peach mango and it's so good so i've got that in there a little roll on stick perfume i think i got this as a present just as like an emergency and then finally a 20 quid note this is gonna be my emergency money i say this to myself and then i always end up spending it on non-emergency stuff but if my phone's dead and i need to catch a bus or i need some food i keep this in my emergency bag and then moving on to what i'm gonna be putting in my actual long shot bag which is the bag i'm be using for this school year and also what i used last year so first of all i have my day folder in here i stuck some like sticky notes onto the side in case i need them and then i have four little folder dividers for each of my subjects and then also a plastic wallet in the back so that if i get sheets i don't crinkle i can chuck them in there but this year i'll be taking my ipad into school most days in case i want to make digital notes then i got this pencil case from tk maxx £2.50. It was such a bargain. Um, I already had most of the pens, pencils, highlighters, glue sticks, all that stuff from last year and just in my drawers. So I restocked my pencil case. Um, also my fave water bottle, which I showed in the last video, which is the Lark water bottle. I'm gonna shove this in there. But that is a little what's in my bag this year. Okay, so the next thing that I've been wanting to do for a while is clean up my Notion. I actually started this the other day. I was cleaning up a few of like the other boxes, but I need to redo my school folder on Notion or like schoolwork. So this is my current Notion. I have different pages for social media and then I also have one for school. But as you can see, it's very outdated. It still has a GCSE countdown, which <laughs> was a while ago. So I'm just gonna delete that. And then basically all the work that I did on Notion that I did for my GCSEs, I'm trying to put into one folder called GCSE work because I am not prepared to just delete everything that I wrote. And also just in case any like other students in the lower years want any of my notes, I still have them because I feel like deleting them is just a bit, it's a bit too much for me. I also want to update this revision timetable. God, I forgot how like organized I was during GCSEs. Um, I'm gonna keep this like timetable, but just remove all of the notes inside it so that when I wanna start my revision timetable again, it's like clean and empty. Okay, so I also want to make a page for each of the current subjects I'll be doing for A-level. So in the UK school system, for GCSEs, you do like 10 subjects. Some people do a few less, some people do a few more. But for A-levels, you tend to only do three or four. So I'm doing four, chemistry, biology, maths, and RS. So I'm just gonna make little folders for each of those subjects. I'm also gonna keep this little revision timetable with the calendar because this was so helpful. Yeah, so there you go. That was during GCSEs. I would like timetable all of my subjects and what I wanted to do that day into this calendar. So I'm just gonna keep that there when it comes to this year mocks exams etc and finally on this notion page i wanted to set a few academic goals for this year i know some people when they do their notion are like so aesthetic and they had like loads of little widgets but for me i just like to keep mine simple minimalist otherwise i just I don't do it. So I've created a little page called Academic Goals and I'm just gonna write like a very simple to-do list with different things that I want to try achieve for this year. I wanted to keep my goals private, but I would just say I think it's very important to set big and small goals when goal setting so that you have like big long-term goals that hopefully you will achieve in the end, but also smaller ones so you can celebrate your little successes and keep the motivation going. The next few bits are gonna be on my laptop, but the next thing I wanna do is make a morning routine because otherwise I will struggle to get out of bed. I love my sleep, but having like a little morning routine that I romanticize genuinely helps me get out of bed. So we're going to do this. One thing I'm gonna try to do every morning is make my bed. I then always clean my teeth as soon as I wake up because I hate morning breath. I'm also gonna try and make my greens every morning. Do my skincare, makeup, pick out a cute outfit. And finally, but my favorite part of the morning is breakfast. Oh baby, look at you. Walking, everybody got their eyes on you. On you, on So, another thing that I absolutely love um, is Pinterest. And I love a Pinterest board, I do. So, to get me even more excited for school, autumn, and just the whole idea of romanticizing school, because I know back to school can suck for some people, I'm gonna try to romanticize it as much as I can by making a Pinterest board. I started this last year when I was romanticizing back to year 11. Now I'm romanticizing sick form. I'll put my Pinterest on the screen, by the way, if you want to follow this board or take inspo from this board, and I'm just gonna keep adding to it. I'm gonna be giving you a haul of the 
clothes I've bought for sick form. I already have so many clothes in my wardrobe that I want to wear for sick form. Our dress code is like business casual, so it's like formal wear basically. All like the little Ralph Lauren knits, mini skirts, etc. I already feel like I have quite a lot of those clothes in my wardrobe anyway, but because I'm gonna be wearing these clothes every day, of course I went shopping. Any excuse for a little a little shop up. First up, I just got some black trousers from H&M. These were literally $15.99. I felt like this with a little plain top or a little sweater, or if I'm feeling really formal, I can add a blazer, you know? Absolutely love. The next few shirts are from Vinted. These were so cheap. I cannot believe it. I think this one was five pounds maybe, but I've got this Ralph Lauren striped shirt, which I thought was really cute. I also got this pink striped shirt from Jack Wills. Not gonna lie, I'm not really a pink gal, but I thought I would switch up from navy, white, and black once in a while. This little gray sweater vest, Ralph Lauren, but also off Vinted. I think this was literally like 11 pounds, which I thought was really good. Another Ralph Lauren shirt. I love the fit of this so much. I, I'm pretty sure this one was four pounds off Vinted. Shopping secondhand, guys, is definitely the way forward. I love this shirt. I also just got a proper like smart blazer from Mango. I decided to pay a bit more and get like a proper high quality one because I'll be wearing this most days. And it's so heavy. I want to cut the shoulder pads out of this. This shirt is also from Mango. Just another white slim fit shirt. This shirt is from Uniqlo. It's blue. It's got a bit more of like a silky material, but I thought it was very cute. I got a black like mini midi skirt from H&M. We're not allowed like super mini skirts. So I thought it was like the right sick form length. I also bought a little pullover from Brandy. This just looks so cute and also it's so comfy. This looks like nothing special, but it is so comfy. It's from Uniqlo. I actually didn't expect Uniqlo to like sell a lot, but I love it. It's it's so, so comfy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get away with this length, but I got a little gray pleated skirt from H&M. And then although it was totally unnecessary, I saw the matching blazer next to it. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to purchase. But this gray blazer, this one's a bit bigger and longer than my black one. The material isn't as nice as my mango one, but I just thought it was really cute to switch it off from the black blazer if I fancy. And then I have another white shirt from Uniqlo. I just bought a bunch of shirts because I thought that's what I'll be wearing basically most days. And that is my sick form haul complete. I'm gonna go put these all upstairs because I'm gonna be putting all my sick form clothes in a separate area. So when I get ready in the mornings, it's a lot easier. But I think that is everything prepared for back to school. The night before school, I'm gonna have a little everything shower, get everything else ready. And I'm feeling a lot more prepared than I was 24 hours ago. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope this also gave you some motivation and some ideas for you guys to go back to school. I love you all very much and I hope you have a good start of the school year.